I just wanted to show you uh, another very quick video on another way that you could use Clay to build out your lead lists. So here, for example, instead of starting with find companies from LinkedIn, you would start with find people from LinkedIn and you would click onto here. And then what you can do is you can obviously search by job title and everything like that. But what's quite cool here that you can also do, which you might not be able, you won't be able to do in, in things like Apollo. Obviously each one of these has its own like pros and cons, right? So you've got pros and cons of Apollo. You've got a lot more filters. You can kind of like search for everything within the company and, and all sorts of different things. Whereas here specifically for LinkedIn. So you could search out, search for, um, you know, for example, like the minimum number of connections uh, or the number of followers that they have. Um, obviously location that's that's a given um the bio so you could search for the keywords within the headline of the bio so you could target specifically people that have founder or ceo in their bio right so they've got up-to-date linkedin and if you then add that in with someone that say has link, uh, connections of like 500 right so on linkedin if you have 500 connections plus um it doesn't show you more than 500 so that tells you that they're active on linkedin right so if you were to put 500 in here that tells you that they're active on LinkedIn. And that means that they're actually utilizing their connections, which means that they're more than likely going to keep their LinkedIn profile up to date. So if you use this to then search and sift through and filter, you're going to get very up-to-date LinkedIn profiles. And it's so much more likely to find, um, if you just use Prospio as part of your waterfall, as the as being able to, you'd be able to find out, find a lot of the email addresses from there, which is pretty cool. Um, and then you could also do keywords. So you could do like just people, for example, and startups. So founders, CEOs, um, startups and then you can also do experience so you could do like uh first time founders but you could also do like founders that have just founded their company within the past like or they've read it and they put it on linkedin within the past um you know maximum time let's say they've had maximum six months in their role and then we're just going to filter this by owner partner c-suite vp um and then just do it like that and then uh, do united states and then just this is just an example this would be basically founders of that have the word startup in their in their about section um, based in the US. And then they're also active on LinkedIn as well, because they got 500 connection requests. So if we look here, and just open a couple of these and see what they look like. All right, 500 plus connections using LinkedIn, they're more than like, so you can see here that they're actually active, they're posting, they've got activity. Um, interesting. So this is like some months in current role. Interesting. Uh, okay. So what it does is it pulls, uh, so when it says maximum time in current role, it will pull like the different steps. So it'll mean that it, this is like less than six months, even though the actual current role is over 15 years. So that might not be the most accurate thing in the world. So just bear that in mind and you might have to play around with that, but you can also do keywords. Um, you could do the number of experiences so they could just have one experience. So they would be like a first time founder or someone who has only been at one company that they founded. Um, but that's one, just one example. Another person here. Um, yeah. Stealth startup, uh, less than four months. So this would be like a really good example here. Right. And you're getting again here, people that have up to date LinkedIn profiles because you've got 500 plus connections or they've got 500 plus connections, which means they actually use LinkedIn and you can sift it around and like, you know, uh, play around with this a little bit, but this just gives you another way of doing an angle. And then on top of this, once you pull, pull this in and, and put this into your clay table, then you can then start to enrich with Prospio um, and other uh, tools to find their email addresses and then start to build out your campaigns from there. So yeah, I've uh, wanted to just make this very quick video. Um, if you're interested in us doing this on your behalf and helping you build out these workflows and also reach out to these prospects for you to book in more meetings, then feel free to book in a call below and I will speak to you in the next one. Bye.